Oftentimes, growth begins with a loss. In 2001, Dr. Gudata Hinaka, then a young surgeon, lost one of the most important lights in his life when his grandmother Ayo died. It took him two years to get over this loss, but when he finally did, he returned to his hometown of Gode with courage and greater determination to make Ayo proud. In honor of her memory, Dr. Gudata decided to do for the next generation what Ayo had done for him, open the doors to a bright future through education. Although he had been sending worthy students to school at Ethiopia Adventist College on scholarships for years, he decided to expand the opportunity for higher education to the entire community by building first a middle school and then a high school in the village of Gode. Building a high school was a radical idea at the time. No one had done it before in this rural region, and many said it was impossible. But Dr. Gudata and his wife Ubitu remained undeterred. Through persistence, perseverance, and the relentless investment of time, money, and belief in Gode's youth, Gode High School opened in 2010. I don't know a camera from Sakenya City, Manabam Sagode, a Gunti, I don't know of a Badun Gamne, Godea School will be the center of excellence by assuring the quality of education. Anticipating that students would need career opportunities after they completed high school, Dr. Gudata began talks with the local government to develop a health village in Arsenigale. This health village would house training programs for nurses, laboratory technicians, and pharmacists, as well as community health centers that would extend services into rural communities 30 miles away in all four directions. At the heart of the health village would be a rural hospital to serve the region's 1.2 million inhabitants. This health village would serve as a model of excellent primary care for all of Ethiopia. This dream became reality when Dr. Gudata took what was once the town's trash dump and cleared it to make room for what was to be ground zero, the starting point of transformative medicine in rural Ethiopia. This is really an amazing project that's going on to see a new hospital coming up in the center of town of Arsi Negeli in what was a trash area that Dr. Gudata has helped to transform to care for the people here in Arsi. It's going to cover a population of 70,000 people and about 10 kilometers radius from around this site uh, to bring them much needed health care services that have been a huge gap um, up until this point, or up until the hospital is finished. Very, very exciting and the dedication and commitment. Many of the workers that you see, the young women and some of the young men carrying the stones to support the foundation, are students at the local secondary school working for their summer vacation to make some money for their clothes and their books uh, for school next year. Some will stay here in R.C. Nigeli, others may have opportunities to move on elsewhere. And hopefully maybe another Gudata uh, Hinika will arise from this group. As the vision of a health village began to take root in Arsinegele, Dr. Gudata knew that he would need extraordinary people to give it heart, soul, and spirit. He began the deliberate process of assembling his ambassadors and the charitable organization Ethiopia Health Aid was born. These founding members of Ethiopia Health Aid are trusted friends and colleagues who support Dr. Gudata's vision of holistic, sustainable health care delivery in rural Ethiopia. In 2011, Ethiopia Health Aid deployed its first delegation of goodwill ambassadors to strengthen ties with the Dama General Hospital, which would serve as a referral hospital for patients from rural Ethiopia needing specialty medical care. The success of this first visit spurred a full-fledged medical mission in March of 2012 to support Adama General Hospital. The March Medical Mission Team of Ethiopia Health Aid 
composed of doctors, nurses, and administrators from hospitals in California, made significant strides in strengthening the health care delivery system of rural Ethiopia. They performed groundbreaking surgeries, such as the first laparoscopic procedures ever to be done in Ethiopia outside of Addis Ababa. They also performed the country's very first ear reconstruction plastic surgery. In addition, they introduced the practice of family medicine and the creation of a patient-centered medical home to the Adama General Hospital medical staff. With this bond at Adama Hospital solidly established, the team turned their attention to rural Ethiopia. They checked in on the building progress of Arsenegele Hospital and brought computers to the students at Gode High School. In August of 2012, the third mission of Ethiopia Health Aid was launched. This team returned to pick up where the March team left off. This particular mission has a dual purpose. Um, obviously, as a medical mission, we're here to serve and provide clinical care. But in addition to that, we have an opportunity to participate in learning about the culture, learning about the medical culture, as well as sharing our knowledge and skills with the physicians and nurses who are here. At Adama General Hospital, the August team of high-performing doctors and nurses expanded the mission started by the previous delegations and continued the robust transfer of knowledge. Plastic surgeon Alex Kim was back to complete the final phase of his ear reconstruction operation. The August team followed up their work in Adama City by visiting the remote village of Gode. Despite the cold and rain, the team enjoyed a warm reception as they distributed the soccer balls and English dictionaries they brought for the kids. Even more rewarding was the opportunity to provide clinic services to more than 200 people who came to Ayo's house for medical care. And of course, the trip would not be complete without a visit to Arsenegele Hospital, where the team had a chance to see the remarkable progress of the hospital's journey to completion.